let that finish cooking then while we move on to the Italian chicken cutlet. We're going to pound the chicken breast out. I went ahead and got the, the skinless kind. Okay, so you want to pound that out to about half an inch. Okay. Now what I do is the smooth side, I want to put that side down. The reason is because the crust that we're going to put on it will actually adhere better to the rough side. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and make the crust for it. Okay, now we're using just plain flavored uh, pork rinds for this. If you want to experiment with some of the other flavors for a not so healthy recipe, that would work because a lot of them have more fat content with the flavored ones, especially because uh, they're sweeter, they'll have sugars in them. Now you can actually just press these by hand or you know, put them in a food processor. It doesn't have to all be super fine. If there's you know, a little bit of chunks here and there, that actually just adds to the texture. Now, this recipe calls for a cup and a half. I found that one bag essentially makes about two cups. So I simply just take a half cup out for this. Okay. There we go. All right. A couple there are kind of big. I'm going to get rid of them. And basically what you're going to do is just mix in all the ingredients there. Okay, there's the Parmesan. Oregano. And I actually you know, prefer to use the dry one for this recipe instead of using fresh herbs because the, that would actually overpower it a little bit in uh, flavor. Okay, there's rosemary. Second. There you go. Just put that on low there. There we go. Right. Take some time. And you can actually substitute different types of cheese in here too if you want to. If you want to put in, you know, sharp cheddar, you can do that too. And that goes really well. Or even mix it up, have uh, three cheese in there. Make it instead of Italian, make it almost like a Mexican uh, crusted. Okay, I just want to mix that all up in there. Okay, now we're going to take some eggs. Make 
sure and bust that yoke up real good. I'm gonna knead that in to mix, you know, like a little thick paste there. I'm gonna take that onto the chicken. Pat it down, make sure not to get too thick of a clump on it. Run it pretty even, about a quarter of an inch. Okay. Like so. And then you just bake that off at uh, 350 for approximately 20 minutes. And when it comes out, oops, I gotta set the other one. That one's actually a fairly large chicken breast. Normally you'd only use probably about half of this for uh, the recipe. But uh, both of these are roughly uh, two grams of carbohydrates on both of these recipes. They're very low carb and that's going by the standard where what they call usable carbs if it has fiber, they'll subtract the uh, amount of fiber from it. But even then, that one would only be three carbs because it has one thing of fiber. So both of these are very low carb. And as you'll see, there's you know, it's quite a bit of food even for the amount and uh, quite a bit of flavor too, as you'll see here in a little bit. 